We're extremely fortunate to have industry giant Makiba Riddick Woods here today at the conference. I went to Berkeley and um, I was a voice major and a minor in songwriting and majored in music business management. And after I graduated, moved to New York, dug my heels right in and you know, as you said, in 2003, I got my first publishing deal after I wrote a record called All I Have for Jennifer Lopez and LL Cool J. And they have students that want to get where you are mm -hmm. or in a place where their talents fit right. in music and in the world and their careers. I'm sure they'd love to hear from you. How, how did that come together for you? Um, well, I'm not going to lie to you. It was not easy at all. As you know, um, I was 19 years old in New York City. All I had was a dream and my voice and my ambition. But what I did was, as a songwriter, I worked with producers all up and down the East Coast at that time, because I was in New York. So I would go back to Boston. I would go to Philly. I would go to Virginia. I would go to Atlanta. I would go to Memphis and just work with a any and every producer that was in the studio creating. And I built up a song catalog. What were the important things that worked for you in terms of skill development. And basically, ear training was, was um, training your ear to learn different rhythmic patterns. And for me, at the time, you know, it was fun, but I, I didn't know how I would use that later on. Well, later on, when I really started to record a lot and be in the studio, those different rhythmic patterns and just having my ear trained for that with headphones on and a microphone, that was one of the biggest things that helped me to become like a great, even though I'm not a recording artist in the, in the sense of having a major record deal, but just as a songwriter, you go in and you have to perform the songs and record the songs for the artist so that the label and the artist doesn't have to figure out, okay, what's this gonna sound like once it's recorded? So I was in the studio every day recording and that ear training just really, really helped me to just be heads and shoulders over other people who were just going in and trying to do demos. My demos actually sound like the record so that really really helped me a lot. Uh, Makiba came in and said you know she's really uh, keen to focus on love the way you lie so tell the audience a little bit the folks we have in the room about that that tune. At that time like I said I was working with Rihanna a lot really heavy and we were actually traveling a lot um, with her recording because she likes to record in different countries and different cities but this particular time, um, she was in Ireland and they wanted to fly me out to Ireland. Well, at that time, I was doing this huge um, interview with the LA Times, so I could not go out to Ireland. And so the, the label president was like, please, whatever we need to do, because she really, really wants to cut these vocals with you. And so I suggested, why don't we do it over Skype? And they were looking at me like, do it over Skype, how is that, how is that gonna work? And I explained to them, well, it'll be just like I'm in the room with her. And, and we can explain to her, even though I'm thousands of miles away, it's just like I'm sitting there right in the control room like we always do it. it really worked out and it, everybody knew that it was a great song and it was gonna be, you know, a huge song, but to actually um, be nominated and win a Grammy as a producer, for me, that like opened up a whole new world of vocal production opportunities for me. So you wanna go in and just make sure that it's clear for the listener that they hear every single word and understand every single word. You wanna make sure that you're using the right microphone for that particular type of voice. So um, I go in with the engineer and we just, we test all different types of mics for that particular artist. Um, you know, the lyrics, you wanna make sure that the, the artist understands, if they didn't write the song, all of the lyrics and how to convey the passion and the emotion in the song. So like I said, it's all things vocal and vocal production is a skill on its own, separate from songwriting, separate from producing a track, you know. Alessandro, can you hear yes. me? Do you, would you mind getting on the mic and just singing a little piece of something? <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, so we did it. We, we literally did it just like that. These types of sessions, I feel like, are going to be even more popular as, as time goes on because it just makes it easier.